GCC Biology is now in one week. Today, I'm going to be giving the best advice I possibly can to everyone who's doing that biology paper next week. So I'm going to get straight into this. So please make sure you're subscribed and leave a like. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers before the end of GCSEs. And also I'm doing loads of videos just on during exams. I'm going to be doing videos before lots of exams. So make sure you're um, following me and subscribed. And I'm going to be doing loads of videos and I also take requests and respond to any comments. So please leave your comments down below. Right. The one week plan I did for GCC biology and most of my sciences as well goes like this. Your, your revision should be completely focused around practice questions and practice papers. Then any questions you're getting wrong or any theme you're getting wrong. So say I'm consistently getting questions wrong about animal cells or cells or something like that. This is your last chance to address these issues. That's why you need to be doing loads and loads and loads of practice questions and papers, because this is the last chance to really see where you're weak and not just it's not just like a reading from a textbook or anything like that. This is doing questions is how you see your weaknesses. And sometimes maybe by revising on Seneca or YouTube or whatever, a weakness may not have quite cropped up to you that you don't realise until you're sat doing papers. So I would do a lot of practice papers. Ask your teachers for questions if you can. Physics and Maths Tutor have some. AQA have some on their website. Just try and find and do as many questions for paper one as possible. Then if you once you've found these topics that you're not so good at, what you need to do is watch YouTube on these topics, so free science lessons. This will be helpful anyway. I watched all of the free science lessons videos for biology paper one within the last kind of one to two weeks. Learn the bits that you're not so good at. Seneca as well is still useful. It's not massively time efficient, but if there's still key bits of information that you need to learn, I would recommend Seneca as the best, the best um, allocation of your time would be Seneca to learn content, not just revise it. So once you've done practice questions, you've done YouTube or Seneca to gloss over and improve any actual gaps in your in your knowledge and in your content. And the final thing as well that I did was flashcard. So I'd be going through my flashcards now. Now is the time to go through daily all your biology flashcards. Put the ones you really struggle with to the side and go through these more often. Or maybe you could do all of your flashcards once every two days and put the ones you struggle with once every single day. The next thing you need to do as well is look at practicals. These are going to be at least six marks in your exam, probably more like 10 to 12 marks in your exam, all of the practicals. So make sure you know all of the practicals for paper one, watch free sound session videos on them, flashcard them, and then just learn the process and then do some practice questions on these two. So make sure you know the practicals, make sure you're doing loads of questions too. This is the last chance to kind of find your gaps in biology. So it's really, really important to do that. The last thing as well, the last piece of advice I have before paper one is this. Don't get thrown off by the wording of the questions, okay? Lots and lots and lots of science questions. This is one of the reasons why once you do loads of practice in science, it can get a lot easier. A lot of things just repeat themselves. They often ask you the exact same question. I can almost guarantee in your chemistry paper one, for example, you're going to get a question like, why is this um, element more reactive than this element? Or describe the trend of reactivity in group one or something like that. A lot of the questions repeat themselves. So you've got to be doing loads and loads of practice. My biology paper on actual GCSE, loads of questions I'm kind of vaguely familiar with that like I've done before um, in some way or another. And what I mean by don't get thrown out by the question is often they just find clever ways to ask you the same bits of knowledge. So for instance, uh, my science teacher told me that once they asked a question about osmosis. So there's a practical you have to do with potato chips for osmosis. But this time they changed potato chips to carrots and loads and loads of students just had no clue what that was and they didn't know what to do with it. So in that exam, just try and think, what are they asking me? OK, the technique I would do is I'd underline key parts of the question and I'd just let it sink in. Don't rush through the paper. In science, especially, you have time. So really, really try and tell yourself to just sit with the question, let it sink in. What is this asking me? They, the thing that science do is they try and make difficult, they try and make simple things and simple things more difficult by maybe in chemistry they could give you like a really weird compound name or something and so you look you see that and you're like what's going on like i'm a bit thrown out but if you just go back to the basics think think about the basics and that your base knowledge and often that will help you get the mark so i hope that's helpful just for a little piece of advice and a little reminder to everyone as well it's going to be fine one week is still time to improve your grade massively and if you do this you will literally it's the best way to do it the best way to advise biology in the last week I got all nines and I got a nine in biology too. And this is exactly what I did. 
So I hope that was helpful. Please leave any comments down below. And I'm going to be doing this with loads of GCSEs, giving tips like this, five minutes sort of thing. Um, so yeah, make sure to subscribe and please, please, please leave a like. One final thing as well, just for those taking English language, which is everyone, I just realised. Um, I'm now selling my English language 40 out 40 mark story for £2. Um, I've also annotated it as well. So you can buy that. The link is in the description and also in the like bio thing on my channel. So make sure to check that out and purchase that because it'll be really helpful just to see a 40 mark story uh, in full. And if not, if you can't afford it or if you don't have the money or anything like that, then in the community section of my page is the plan for that story. But I'd really recommend just getting that, buying that and giving it a read so you can kind of see what a high mark question in English looks like. Also, make sure, like I said in my recent videos, not to neglect these other subjects that are coming up in the future. Don't just focus completely on biology. Focus more on biology in the upcoming papers, but do not forget those exams that are later on during exam season. Thanks for watching.